Hey, Kyle, I just remembered, well, realized there's a much easier way to do it than doing math. So, let's see, yep, there we go. Have a new sketch on here. I'm going to draw a circle out, draw another circle out, and then I'll draw a circle right there for now, so it's out of the way. And then go and dimension everything. Okay, 2.5, 4.128, okay, and then all that 1.3 again. Now, black means that it's fully dimensioned. You can't define it any further. This one is blue. Let me get out of that tool because I can still move it around. Even though the shape is constant, or like the diameter is fixed, I can move it. But what I'm going to do now is this is like saw line to construction line. The construction line is all for reference only. I'm going to go there to there. Hit escape to get out of it. Now, typically, Well, lines in SolidWorks always have um, midpoints. This one didn't have it necessarily, but I was still able to do it. Let me show you how. So I have a construction line. That means it won't be used to create a shape or extrude or anything. It's just there for reference. So I'm going to click that line and click the center of my circle. And if I go up here, these are all your relationships. You can tell it where you can say where you want the circle to be in relation to this line because they're both selected. So right now I'm going to say I want the center of the circle to be at the midpoint of the line. So I click midpoint and it's automatically set at the midpoint. And then once again, you can just do a circular pattern and we'll change this to six. And there we have our six equal circles. And then like I did last time, you can just extrude it a half inch and call it good. And we have our shape.